you are not disciplined enough. That's what the message often feels like in the self-development space sometimes. Although building discipline is great, in my opinion, it is overrated. There are better ways to go about it. In this video, I will talk about why discipline is not as important as it might seem, another concept one can use instead, and lastly, using timing to get the best out of your discipline use throughout your day. Let's first define motivation and discipline. Motivation is doing what you need to do when you feel like it. Discipline is doing what you need to do whether you feel like it or not. Motivation is volatile. It goes up and down. And you're only able to do what you need to do when you feel like it. Discipline is more stable. You're able to do more of what you need to do because you can also do it when you don't feel like it. When you don't have motivation, you can use discipline. And when you have motivation, well, you don't even need to use discipline. But most people overlook that discipline also has its limits. How long can you keep doing something when you don't feel like it? What if everything in your life just feels like an uphill battle every day for weeks and months? Sure, discipline can get you far, definitely further than motivation. But at some point, you're going to hit a limit and give up. That's why it is better to also use the concept I'm going to talk about next. In Atomic Habits, James talks about how research suggests that most disciplined people actually don't have a lot more discipline than others. The reason it seems that they are so much more disciplined is because of their environment relatively to the environment of the not so disciplined person. There has been research on how putting more water cans in a room make people drink more, and how grocery stores putting candy at the checkout counter nudge people to buy more candy. And you have probably experienced it yourself with your phone. If you're working and the phone is closed, you're just much more likely to check it. But if it is in another room, you're likely to check it a lot less. What environment design essentially does is prolonging the motivation period and shortening the period when you don't feel like it. As a consequence of this, you don't need to use discipline as often. And the times when you need to use discipline, you only need to use a smaller amount. As a result, it is going to take a lot longer before you hit your discipline limit. Lastly, I'm going to leave you with a few questions you can ask yourself to effectively implement environmental design. How can I change my environment such that I can use less discipline without negatively affecting my output? How can I change my environment such that I use as little discipline as possible without negatively affecting my output? How can I change my environment such that I don't need to use discipline at all without negatively affecting my output.